and we're live. Oh, so, okay. Yeah. I have to tell you guys, I am an outward, like I talk about it a lot. I like weird shit. If you follow me on social media, I post weird news stories. I like weird things, right? And so because I talk about it a lot, I have weird things happen at my shows. I think it just, you know, a couple of weeks ago in Dallas, I saw a human dick. Well, I see those all the time. Yeah. No, I showered. Somebody today. else's? Yeah, I showered. Don't judge. Today. I mean, not often. But... <laughs> okay. Someone I asked was, me. I, I won't derail you. Yeah, I was, it was in Dallas. Dude was in the front row. He was wearing a kilt. And we started talking and he was like, yeah, I do some of the, he was like on one of those smaller wrestling circuits on East Texas or whatever. And he, he did the whole Irish thing. He had a red beard and, and I go, but you're not wrestling tonight. Right. And he goes, nah, I go, why the kill? And he goes, well, tell you the truth. When I started doing this gig, the more I wore it, the more comfortable. He said, it's so humid down here. This kilt is like a lifesaver. Mm -hmm. And I said, okay. I said, but are you, are you wearing underwear? And he said, I'm going to tell you what I tell everybody else. You got to lift the kilt to find out. <laughs> <laughs> and I told him, I go, I want you to know you are challenging the wrong dude. <laughs> I'm in it. I am here for lifting your kilt, dude. Yeah. So he was in the front row. And by the way, just to make him more uncomfortable, because he he was trying to alpha me. By, yeah. He just leaned back and was like, lift it up, you know? So how did I, I'm like, how can I make him uncomfortable? I got on my knees. <laughs> he's like and he, oh this he, is the worst thing ever you know yeah. <laughs> no, no, you're, right now is you're gonna you're, uh... show me <laughs> yo kyle if he had gone like this i don't know what i would have done that would have been the move <laughs> yeah well what he said to me was he goes do you have to get on your knees and i was like yeah i do and he was like i don't like that and i was like yeah that's why <laughs> that's, that's, that's I'm doing it. so i don't i didn't know this about a kilt kilt has two sides one side, when you lift it, is just more kilt. Mm -hmm. And I lifted that side first. He goes, nah. And this was funny. He goes, I hide the Easter eggs on the other side. And I was like, oh, we got jokes here. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and I lifted up the other side. Yeah, human dick. No underwear. <laughs> and, and, I don't know what I expected. You know what? Turned out a human dick. He, I human totally thought it was reptilian. <laughs> By the way, this dude, this dude, all potatoes, no meat. Do you know what I mean? Like okay. he, he, oh, his yeah. dick looked like it fell asleep on his nuts. Just kind of, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, yeah, it was sad. What was wow. his reaction? When and it's you, hot and humid out too. That's, that's he laughed. We all, I mean, it was the crazy because this probably took between talking to him and the build up to lifting it up. And it probably took the first 13 minutes of my set. It was amazing. <laughs> it was mash, no bangers. It's, dude. I, Here's what I, my shows are like that. But like, if you come to my early show, a lot of times it's a completely different show, late show. I'll yeah, do different, I 100% sure. do different material. But I, I, you know, I've started playing, I play my guitar some, I bring people on stage. It's like a living, breathing thing. So when this dude was there in the front row with his kill, that was like, fuck yeah, let's, let's milk this for as long, not, no pun intended, but there was, let's, you know, let's. <laughs> I remember, um, I think it maybe it was at Shot Show, which is a big like gun convention thing they do in Vegas every year. Um, I would go around to all the vendors and look for new stuff to work with. And this guy, um, they had this thing called Utila Kilt. They had these like utilitary kilts. Uh, Woody's familiar with them. He's probably seen them at some of the shows as well. Um, and um, it's like a big, hardy workman's kilt. Like this isn't just a piece of fashion wear. Like it's got it, it's it's more like a tool belt skirt. It's got like all sorts, it's leather, it's well made. And I was like, Kitty was like, Do you want one? You know, we could you could wear one in a video, you could do some sort of Scottish war warfare thing, maybe you like do some sort of William Wallace shit. And I'm like, Yeah, you know, I could do get, a, get myself a claymore, maybe get a, get a bow and stuff, you know, maybe do a whole like Scottish thing. I was like, How much are those? They were like two hundred and fifty dollars. Yeah. Like they're so expensive. Let me see. I'm sure they still exist. Let me see how much you could tell the kill. Like, They've been around for forever. When were, I was were in were you like two hundred and fifty dollars, there's no pants. It's yeah. less. All right, so they're much yeah, cheaper now. Fabric. Okay, no, yeah, wait, wait. Well, all right, it. so I'm looking at their kilts right now. It looks like um, <laughs> they have like multiple styles, but these are 200. This one's called a mocker. It's 200. This one's 260. I'm yeah, I'm going to limited edition kilts. Oh, 550 for the for the tuxedo kilt, and the leather one is 770. <laughs> it's an all right. leather kilt. Yeah, see, yeah. these are knockoffs. You want to go like to the Utila kilt uh, website. 
utilikilts.com. Oh yeah, the Amazon. Come on, baby. I don't. But I yeah. don't want to wear one of these. Yeah, I have. I have higher kilt standards than that. You've got the. You've got the. Uh, the legs for this though, Woody. You could. I think I could pull off a utility kilt. I, I, I used to want one, but back when I did, um, I used to build lots of like heirloom furniture. That was my hobby. Mm -hmm. And uh, I did it out of a garage with really no air conditioning. And a utility kilt was on my dream list. They were just too expensive. You but want I, the workman? That's the that's the that's the carpenter's kilt. It's got lots of. Uh, it looks like uh, I don't know. It reminds me of um, like Dickie's pants. Those khaki Dickie pants. Oh yeah, the workman yeah, would it. be a good choice. But what I want is the beast too. That the that beast thing, too. <laughs> yeah, it's one of the limit. I linked it for for. Oh, snack. that thing. Oh my goodness. That that just looks like where you want. The to shit be. is absurd. But, now, but yeah, but yeah, I was like, I was like, yeah, I'll take a kilt, and, and I'm like, how much are they? And they were like, two, three hundred dollars, and I was like. This was kind of a joke that 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 I thought they were going to be thirty dollars or something like that. Like like if y'all give me a kilt, I'll wear one. But I'm not buying one of those things. Look at the that. That is a manly skirt. Seventy seven dollars. Yeah, it's nice though, isn't it? Yeah, but you can look like, like William a gay Wallace guy from Middle Earth. <laughs> 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 yeah, this, yeah, this is these are not good looks. I got to tell you, if I wear a kilt, I'm just walking around all day going hold. <laughs> hold the whole time that's all i'm doing hold <laughs> i mean I like I, I like how they give all of them like like we're, we're selling kilts so they have to have names like the spartan yeah. you can't call it the guy being filmed behind his back at the grocery store <laughs> <laughs> you, you can't describe what's actually going to happen the yeah. guy who's yeah. the joke of everybody's table at tgi fridays yeah the guy <laughs> who's making everyone else uncomfortable sitting on the bleachers yeah, like <laughs> yeah. <laughs> always at the top. 